welcome back to another pickup episode. Mail time! So I need to say it again. Brandon, Jabba's Toy Dungeon. This is a Star Wars Return of the Jedi uh, collections catalog. Just some of the awesome uh, booklets that came with the figures and stuff. That came with the mail away figures. So you can see I'm trying to be careful here with some of this artwork here. It shows the figures, some of the carrying cases and Chewie's bandolier right there. Speeder bike. You know, it's just an awesome uh, booklet. And this one's really mint and nice and flat and I don't have one that's this nice. So I picked this up. Shout out to you, Brandon. Jabba's Toy Dungeon. Go follow them on Instagram. I'll probably link them again down below. Check them out. Great stuff. This is just an awesome thing right here. My buddy Tom from Pizarro's Pieces. Check out his Instagram. Check out his Facebook. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it all below. I'll definitely link the YouTube channel below. Check out Pizarro's Pieces. Even if you don't live in the UK, there's no reason why you couldn't really dig his channel. It's just awesome content. He sent me a care package. He didn't charge me anything for this. Well, I don't know exactly what's in here, but I know what line of toys is in here, but I don't know who he sent me. And um, I'm definitely going to pay it forward. Some Hasbro wrestlers. This is, uh, this is great, man. This is really is amazing for you to send this stuff my way. So straight from the UK, some Hasbro WWF wrestlers. This one needs no introduction. The Hulkster right here, which is great, believe it or not. I don't believe I even have a Hulk Hogan yet. Overall condition is pretty nice. He's got some scuffs he's been played with, obviously, and that's awesome. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not trying to get the mintiest of these figures. I like the scuffs and the love that these figures show. Awesome. Hulk Hogan. Next up, I do not have him. I do have the, uh... I have the black jacket, so now I have the green jacket. Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man here. Awesome looking figure, he's in pretty great shape. Now I have the green and the black. Bam, what's looking like a little leprechaun. This one right here, this might be my favorite one that you sent, Tom. I really, really appreciate it. We got the Macho King, Randy Savage, with this lariat. I'm a clothesline yo ass. A little bit of scuffing, but really it's great, man. This is so great. Tom, man, you the man, for real though. And these two, I'm really psyched to have these guys. And it's funny because I almost was going to buy these figures off eBay. I was watching an auction for the Nasty Boys. And I was very close to buying them. And uh, I'm glad I held out now. So we got another uh, clothesline yo ass action here. The other Nasty Boy, what's his action? It's got that ground and pound. So yeah, we got the Nasty Boys. Condition is great, really. I mean, the graphics on their shirt is awesome. The sunglasses, all the paint is pretty much still here. This is just great. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is that toy lover right here. These guys came all the way from the UK to uh, grace my shelf. It's getting really full. I'm not really sure if I'm going to need to get risers or move them to a different home. But yeah, the Hasbro WWF line is uh, growing rapidly here in the Gamer Toys uh, toy room. Let me grab this real quick. This is going to block everything right here. Look at this. This is the uh, the original Star Wars poster. I'm trying to talk in. I'm trying to talk into the mic. You won't be able to hear me. I got this at Comic Con, which you guys probably saw in that episode of the Retro Toy Hunt. I just love this poster. I got this cheap frame from uh, Michaels, I believe. It works for now. I eventually want to get this into a nicer wood frame because I want it to last. The pickups here. Uh, they're not for different things, but okay, I, I was greedy. I walked into Walmart. They had two White Rangers and they had two Yellow Rangers. How could I just take one of each and leave the other two there? So I took both of them. Took both yellows, both whites. The boxes are in pretty good shape, except this Yellow Ranger box got crushed. Uh, the flap is open in the back. I'll probably open this one or I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the other two I might sell, but I'll probably use them as trade. I'm not sure yet, but I couldn't just leave the other two there. These were so hard to find for me that when I saw two of each, I just instantly grabbed all four of them and I have no regrets. So yeah, Power Rangers and Wrestlers and a Star Wars catalog and a giant poster. These are my pickups for this week. Huge shout out to Tom from Pizarro's Pieces for hooking me up with these wrestlers down here. Once again, check out Pizarro's Pieces. I can't say it enough. 
Check out Brandon on Instagram at Jabba's Toy Dungeon. He does so many sales on Instagram that I can't keep up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.